you repurpose your way to a cozy home using upcycled and secondhand items? Check out these next projects to see. Going to the dump is my most favorite thing to do. I know you wouldn't hear many women say that, or probably anybody say that, but I absolutely love going to my dump, my transfer station, whatever you want to call it, because we have a free shack, we have a free area, and we have really great stuff that people put in there sometimes. So it's like a treasure hunt. It's just you never know what you're going to find in there, you know? So when I went quite a while back, I've had these in my stash, but when I went, I found two of these square mirrors. Now, recently, I went to Dollar Tree and I saw these pieces of wallpaper. And I thought this was really pretty wallpaper. And I got some new Dixie Belle paint. This is called burlap. And I thought, ah, this would be a great way to put the burlap paint and that wallpaper together and just make this piece pop, stand out, and look so warm and cozy for someone's home. This paint is really nice paint. It goes on nice and smooth. It goes on pretty thick, so two coats is all I had to do. You can see it's kind of a taupe color, but it's called burlap, so it's kind of a burlap color. It's really pretty, and I absolutely love it on this project. <laughs> Even though this is sticky back paper, I wanted to make sure that it was going to stick really well. So I did a thin coat of Mod Podge just to give it like a double stick. So I did do the thin coat and then I also peeled off the backing of the wallpaper. And this is actually quite thick. It's pretty, pretty nice paper. And they had several different colors and, and designs. So I'm just going to add that to my Mod Podge so I hopefully will have that it just stick really well with the sticky back and the Mod Podge. I want to make sure all the painted parts on this mirror are nice and sealed so I got my clear wax out from Fusion and I'm just going to brush this on and then brush it or wipe it right off. I'm going to add some of my antique gold rub and buff around the edges just to give it a little more depth. I'm going to be using antique wax over the top of the clear wax, but I wanted to use the rub and buff first so that the antique wax would kind of tone down the gold. I want it there. I just don't want it too, too bright. I'm trying to pull from the paper and it's got a little bit of a gold hue there. So I'm just trying to pull out some of the different colors that are in it. Now I'm going to use my watered down antique wax to go over the frame and give it a little bit of a darker hue and make it look a little bit more old and antiqued. So I'm just going to rub this on with a rag and then wipe it back. I also put some of the wax on the paper as well and wiped it back. It did darken it up just a little bit. I think this came out so warm and cozy looking.
I remember when I first got chickens and I said, I'm not going to be that crazy chicken lady that has all the chicken decor. I love chickens, but I don't have to have the decor all over my house, right? Well, I go to Goodwill and look what I find, a chicken. And it's super cute. It's actually cute the way it is. But I got this new paint from Dixie Bell and it's not the burlap paint. The burlap paint was new, yes, but I also got this pine cone one and I absolutely love the color of this pine cone Dixie Bell paint. So I had to use it and I thought what better place to use it than on this cute little chicken. I mean just look at that color. If that isn't prim or country color, I don't know what is. I absolutely love it. So I did two coats on this chicken after I gave it a good clean. It was a little bit dusty. So I gave it a good clean, did two coats on this, and I really love how this looks. Once my two coats were all nice and dry, I took my sandpaper and just tried to sand back a little bit of the paint to get down to the original color. It, again, it wasn't a bad color. It was it was kind of cute, but I thought all one color would be really nice and then just kind of hit it with the sandpaper and get a just a, a few varieties of color coming through, just little bits of it, not all of it all at once. And now that I have it the way I like it with the sandpaper and uh, little bits of color coming through, I'm going to take my clear wax and go over and give it a good seal. Of course, clear wax isn't going to make it look old and distressed, but the dark wax will. So now that the clear wax is on and wiped back, I'm putting on some dark wax and hoping that gets down in the cracks and crevices and all the little feather pieces and gives it a really nice old look. Back to the free shack at my local dump again and I found this wooden tube of some sort. I don't know if it's a wine holder or a map holder and maybe a treasure map holder. I don't know but I really liked it. I like the color of it. I don't want to paint it but I do want to add a little bit of bling to it. So I have this. I believe this is from Redesign with Prima. Uh, some just some rub on transfers so I'm going to cut out one of the ni these nice big tall flower pieces and I'm going to put this down and rub it on to my tube. Once I got that flower added and then burnished it down, now I want to seal it in. So I'm using my clear wax from Fusion and I'm going to seal in that transfer and I'm just going to give this a little bit of a seal all the way around. It's a little bit dry so I think this will help uh, just kind of 
freshen it up and give it a, a nice clean look. I know this is kind of a strange home decor piece. It's a guitar with a motorcycle flaming on the front of it, uh, but I've always wanted to do a makeover on a guitar. And this one I found at the Free Shack and of course didn't cost me a thing. And I thought what fun it would be to decoupage some of this music paper from another, you know, another found item, another book that I found at the Free Shack and just kind of tear up these pieces and decoupage them on the front of or on the base, the bottom part of this guitar. Now, I think what I would have done bef beforehand was maybe antique wax the pages before I put them, I decoupage them down. Once you decoupage them down, the antique wax doesn't get on the paper as well. And I wanted it to be darker. And of course you could do layers and layers and layers of antique wax, you know, put it on, let it dry <clears throat> again and again. Uh, but what I wanted to do was have it be nice and dark. And I wanted each one of those edges on the torn pieces to be that nice dark antique wax. And I didn't get that from this. So I think if I were to do this again, or if maybe this is something that you want to try, I would antique wax the pages before you even put them down on the guitar. Um, so or anything for that matter, if you're going to be doing this. So I just wanted to um, kind of let you guys know that, that if I do this again, I would do it a little bit differently. So that's all I'm doing is just taking ripped pages and making sure that they overlap and I have enough Mod Podge on there and just kind of cover up the base of that guitar. Once I got all the pages on there and I let it dry a little bit, I went back and cut off my paper and sanded down the edges to make sure that they were nice and just smooth and it's okay if some of it ripped or, or frayed because I want this to be a distressed old looking piece. Now I'm going to take my Sunflowers IOD mold some cornstarch and I'm going to put that cornstarch in my big sunflower. This is one of my favorite molds that I have and I just absolutely love it. So I wanted to use it on this guitar. I think it will look so cool and I'm just going to add this cornstarch so that the clay doesn't stick to the mold and it will pop out just nice and easy. So that's all I'm doing is adding that on there and then I'm going to slowly put in my clay and get that all rubbed in and flattened out. I'm 
going to set that sunflower aside to dry a little bit. And now I'm going to add my antique wax to my guitar pages, uh, or my music pages on my guitar. Uh, so I'm just starting with the edges and just going around in circles and just putting it all on. I really wish, like I said, this would be a little bit darker. And it does get darker as you put layer after layer on. And I'm also using my watered down antique wax. I didn't want to open up my new bottle yet that I have. I should have because I probably would have got the effect that I wanted. But I was just kind of testing the waters and seeing, um, you know, what, what would look good. So I want to start light and then move to the darker spots. So what I'm going to do here is have my sunflower lay over the edge and then I'm just going to take my razor and cut off part of it. So that way I have a bigger sunflower down near the bottom. And now once I cut this off, I'll have a smaller piece that I can go ahead and glue to the top. I just needed to make it conform to the top edge of the guitar and you'll see there. So we'll have one in one corner and one in the other, and I just love this design. I think it looks so cool. Now another thing I should have done before I've started this whole process is when I make my sunflower and I had it drying, I should have painted it before I put it on the guitar, and that way I would have been able to get the black all over uh, all over my flowers and just make sure it was covered. I did do that with a smaller brush and I just went in and got all the details around the edges, but it would have been better to do it beforehand and then I would have known I would have got that in there. Now the black is just a base coat. It's just the coat to, uh, so if I miss any of the color, once I put the color on, you'll have black underneath it and it just makes it, it just gives it an old feel, which I absolutely love. So um, I always love using the black underneath. Now I put the black in the middle and then I kind of wiped it back so that it wasn't quite as dark. I wanted to have some of the white showing through of the clay and then when I put the antique wax on, it grabs onto that white and it just gives it a variation in color so it kind of looks like there are seeds in there and they're getting ready to pop um, and uh, I don't know, I just like that look. So I'm adding antique wax to the flowers, the petals, the to everything that I can get antique wax on at this point. Uh, and then I just dab it back. I want some of that antique wax to sit down in the little cracks and crevices and stuff like I always do. And I just dab it back and I did both of the flowers. Now this is DWIL green paint. This is cardamom green. I love this paint. I love this color and uh, I'm going to use this on with some stencils to put some leaves connecting my two flowers together and just go up around and just give it a little more, uh, just kind of a little more depth, something else to look at. This is part of my stencil. I cut it right off. It has a jug on one side or a crock and then this side it has the, this is bittersweet, my bittersweet prim stencil that I have available on my in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. But um, I, I cut it off and I'm going to use just the flowers and just kind of create a little bit of a vine going in and out of the flowers and the strings and all that and just give it a cool look. So I'm just going to tamp this on with a little brush because it's a very teeny tiny delicate stencil. So I'm just using the a little brush and putting on my green paint. Now is a good time if you haven't already and you are enjoying the content, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down underneath the video and make sure you hit that bell next to it that it will allow YouTube to let you know when I upload a video. Once my paint is dry on my vine, I'm going to go back with some black paint and just add a little bit of detail. I want this to pop and not have uh, just, just black splotches all over the guitar. So I'm adding my uh, just some detail to it. And then once it's dry, I'm going to go back and sand it down a little bit. And I think that gives it a nice old feel. I'm 
going back in with some more antique wax to see if I can darken up some of this and also cover over those leaves a little bit and just make those look a little more aged. So an, another coat isn't going to hurt it. It's going to give it a little bit more darkness and some more age. So I'm just adding that to it and then wiping it back. The last thing I want to do is cover the top where there's writing and says what the guitar is and I'm just going to take some twine and go around the top and cover that up and then I have these little sunflowers I got from Dollar Tree so I'm going to take three of those I'm going to distress it with some antique wax and then I'm going to glue those on to the top to kind of mimic the sunflowers on the bottom. you enjoyed my warm and cozy projects it's really easy to just grab some secondhand thrifted items repurpose and upcycle them into something that's a little bit warmer and cozier for your home especially this time of year in fall and the autumn season don't forget to like share and subscribe and let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite if you have one make sure to check out this next video on your screen i know you'll love it